Hello, fair viewers. We are here with Shannon from Gift and Thrift, and we're seeing the behind the scenes action right now of basically what happens when your donation comes through the door. So, Shannon, take it away. Okay. So, this is our uh, donation area. When you drop things off, we bring them in here and we sort them. I do a, a primary sort uh, just to show you. Um, where your items might go, we'll take a walk around. Excellent. So they go from this cart, they come in on this nice cart, and we sort them to category as far as toys or housewares, clothing, shoes, whatever it may be. They go to their own area. Um, that way our volunteers and staff come to get their um, bins to work on. They know exactly where to go. They know it's already been pre-sorted and pretty much everything that's in that bin belongs to them to, to sort through and clean up in price. Very good. So they have kind of some discretion and pricing of items as well. Uh, we, we have um, some some pricing guidelines, sure. but just, just like uh, people who know when they come in the shop, everything's unique. Okay. So uh, there are always exceptions. Absolutely. And they can look things up online, of course, now and, and check out eBay if they find something that's really particular and kind exactly. of cool. I was noticing some things like that. I'm like, oh, that looks like Fostoria Crystal out there. I'm like, that's really nice. Right. And you know, and definitely, Shannon warned me that I'm, I'm seeing things around here that I would certainly like to take with me. It's no touchy back here in this area. So I'll have to wait till it gets out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to skip this part. We're going to go down to the Book Savers Warehouse. Oh, cool. Okay, so we get uh, donations of books in, and they come here um, where Amy, who's our Book Savers Manager, will sort them into various categories. Uh, some of it we will determine that it's best to sell it online. Uh, okay. Some of it goes uh, into our, onto our retail shelves, and sure. uh, what we can't sell, we recycle. Okay, excellent. Very good. And I mean, you guys have a really healthy selection of books and are kind of known for that mm -hmm. to a degree. So I mean, how many books do you think come through this place in a, in a given month? Oh goodness, I, I couldn't even begin to just thousands uh, upon say thousands. that, but I, I know that we have about 30,000 titles online. Um, wow. In addition to what's, what's here <laughs> That's a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> we have like a thousand books per day board. Okay. Really? Oh my goodness. Get like anywhere from from one to five, okay. depending on the time of the year. Wow, it's a lot of books. A lot of books. What a great problem to have. <laughs> a lot yeah. of goods back in the yeah. community that way. Cool. So you can see uh, this is more sorting. Wow. Um, these are all books that are designated for our retail store. Okay. Uh, we go ahead and separate them. We have a staff member uh, designate what price each of them should get. Okay. That way when volunteers come in, they can just grab a box, price the entire box, and, uh, and kind of move on. get it ready for the retail shelves. Wow. This is a incredible operation because being a shopper on the shopping side of it, I always had an appreciation for went on behind the scenes, you know, mm -hmm. doing a little antiquing and stuff myself. This is far beyond my wildest dreams. This is crazy. <laughs> I love it. We have to be hyper organized. Back here. That's what I'm picking up, actually. Can you come to my house? <laughs> <laughs> I need to start mine. Fair enough. Um, so some of the books, like I said, are not suitable for sale. So we have some giant cutters over here. We cut okay. the spines off of them and recycle the paper. Okay. Send that to Chambersburg Waste Paper. Oh, great. And um, they take care of it from there. Okay, well, and the nice part about that is, and I'm sure, you know, and, we'll, and we'll talk a little bit more about your mission mm -hmm. and kind of what the goal is because Gift and Thrift is not just a, a standard thrift store. Um, you all have a much greater mission beyond that and, and play a very active part in the community, but this part of it is that nothing gets wasted. Right. Excellent. Right. So we Very have cool. a cardboard baler over there as well. We uh, recycle the cardboard boxes that come in, and then this large machine uh, bales clothing for us. Oh, wow. Some clothing will come in with rips, stains, tears in it right. that we don't want to put out there for sale. Um, so we bale it up and um, sell that as well. Okay. Fair enough. Excellent. And does a lot of that go overseas? I think you know, we see stuff like that on Facebook, but it could go anywhere. I'm it sure. it could go Comment anywhere. Like too. Mm -hmm. U.S. Uh, I've heard that some of it's ended up in Canada as okay. well as overseas. So. Very good. Yeah. It's funny when every now and then with churches and different things, you see a T-shirt that gets donated that is very specific, and then you find it, you know, across the world somewhere. Right. It's like, all right, you know, doing good everywhere. That's so right. excellent. That's very right. cool. Um, Yay. Lead us on. Oh, oh my goodness. So wow. up against the wall there, there's some clothing bales that have been bailed and are ready to, to go awesome. out in, okay. in our next shipment. Um, so they just squish them and make them fly. Yep. Okay. Yep, just like a, a 
huge hay bale. Very <laughs> cool. And then all of these are books that have yet to be processed. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. So okay. we've got a little bit of a waiting waiting line there as far as uh, Fair enough. being able to get through them all. Excellent. So we're we're fortunate, fortunate enough to get some uh, donations from libraries, schools, okay. things like that. Sure. So you get in mass all of a sudden. It's like, right. okay, now we have 300 new children's books. Kind of parcel them out so mm -hmm. you don't run low at some other time of year. Right. Excellent. Very yep. cool. Yay. Well, and it's great that, you know, what what I think is a, is a misconception about some nonprofits and, and especially thrift stores and benefit stores and things like that is that, you know, really it all does go to good use. It all does go mm -hmm. towards your mission. So even if there are clothes or books or things that you don't get a chance to use, that you're going to make sure that that gets to somewhere else that potentially right. could use it and that the, the money goes back to benefit your mission. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, we, we're trying to keep everything out of the land or as much out of the landfill as possible. Excellent. Very cool. That's Sounds like a, a good thing because certainly they're filling up far too fast. That's right. Excellent. All right, lead us on. Okay. So some of the books that come in, um, we have volunteers who will do some research online and place okay. them for sale online. Sure. Um, our whole upper mezzanine there is oh, full wow. of books like that. There, uh, we assign them each a number. Okay. That way, when someone orders them from uh, the website, sure. we can just go and uh, pick it off and ship wow. it out to them. That's it's amazing. Like a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and again, the organization back in this area is amazing because you have so much stuff right. that you're working with, but that it all really has its place and, and, and everything kind of has its function and, mm -hmm. and your volunteers obviously have to know all of that as well. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're putting stuff online, do you have your own website or did you use eBay or different things? Uh, we, we use eBay for uh, a lot of the other donations. Sure. As far as books go, uh, there's a program called Monsoon. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we work with Abe Books. Okay. Cool. Um, and we list them online that way. That's amazing. One again, and, and I'm sure it helps you from getting too swamped with books. Um, and, and being able to, I mean, you yeah, have plenty, right. there's no question. <laughs> You're like, are you ever not swamped with books? <laughs> That's the question. Right. But that, I mean, you have kind of both areas of operation going. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, and, and, I, and I hear you, again, doing some antiquing and, and different things, there are some things that just sell better online. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Sometimes Very you cool. need a, a broader audience. and Very um, cool. Some people might be looking for multiple copies of one book. So, yes. Uh, that's helpful to... To oh, utilize yeah. online for that. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. And Chris, if you get a shot up here, you will see the amazing organizations, perhaps, we can of, of what they the have. Stairs to there and get, or we can make get, it easy on them. Yeah. I don't know. I never like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris knows that. <laughs> and also, back in that room, you can peek through the window. There's some some of our online offerings, but we got a couple wow. of volunteers doing some research now. So this, this is just part of our online listing here. Wow. Um, they, they are all sort of by number, so that way it makes it easy on the, the staff and volunteers when wow. we do get orders to be able to come up and just pull that title right off the shelf. That's amazing. Goodness. I mean, you had no idea. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. No, Very no. cool. Oh well, I can't imagine. so this is a tour that anybody could get mm -hmm. if they came in and made an appointment wow. and Absolutely. you guys do it for volunteers and all. Absolutely. Because if you all haven't, if you come and you enjoy gift and thrift and you haven't seen behind the scenes, I think Golda and I can both, both agree, wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I love it even more now knowing that all this would be really it's like Santa's workshop in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what does this mean, Shannon, when you have it, something? It, it's just the... Uh, the, the number that it gets assigned to that book. Okay. So that way, if uh, someone comes in and the first three numbers of the online listing are 139. Oh, these are online. We, yeah. Okay. We, we go there. Very cool. Out. It is. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so this, this is our main processing area uh, for the thrift part of uh, the store. Okay. So in here we have uh, clothing gets... Um, inspected and priced before it goes out, as well as housewares and seasonal items, okay. uh, linens and crafts, things like that. If folks are, it occurs to me, I mean, and, and again, I think we've all donated to you all before. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want things that are soiled and ripped and things, though those aren't as useful to put out into the store and, and really right. can't do a whole lot for them. So, I mean, what's a, what's a guide to donation? Um, the most helpful thing for our uh, sorters is 
if you're going to donate a, a lot of things, go ahead and separate them out. If you okay. know that all the clothing, put that in one bag. Okay, sure. All the kitchenware, put that in another bag or okay. box. Okay, uh, that's that, easy That makes to do. it a lot easier for us and helps us to move things through. And I'm sure it gets kind of hectic, especially as the summer season's coming on, people are having yard sales. Right. And then just like throw everything in a box that don't want it, but they'll love it because it's mm -hmm. gift and thrift. They'll do something great with it, but a little organization goes a long way. Right. Certainly, and I mean, and, you have and if it's broken, all these volunteers back here that are working very hard. And if it's broken at your house, it's probably gonna be broken here as well. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough, fair enough. So, words to live by. <laughs> Excellent, awesome, lead us on, this okay. is great. Um, yeah, we can just kind of take a look at, the, wow. these are all things that have been sorted through and, and are ready to be- housewares uh, that people are responsible for? Right, yeah, okay. we have volunteers who will, um, We'll sort them into priced bins. That way they know they can grab a whole bin of things for 50 cents each. They can clean okay. them up and price them. Awesome. Oh. Very cool. We, we try to make it uh, as efficient, efficient as possible. Absolutely, yeah. And so, I mean, right now I can spot right here a really nice piece of fire king. <laughs> as far as that goes. And I see something like that if I'm a volunteer, knowing that you all have a silent auction. Right. Um, and that, hmm, you know, if there's a whole set of these, um, little soup terrain things, that would be really good for your silent auction to put out there. Absolutely. So there's a volunteer kind of eyeball it as well and go, you know what, this is not a 50 cents piece. Yeah, and, and okay. that's why it's good to have so many different people uh, uh, volunteering because sure. everyone has specific talents absolutely and finding that right fit for them and, um, the, the area that they'll enjoy sure uh, can, can help us out absolutely little so experts are welcome that's as right. far as volunteers go Beth was telling me that, that that if you had some folks that were interested you know in kind of high-end antiques silent mm -hmm. auction might be a great place for them people who who sort in different things that know about glassware and dishware right. or clothing or books or anything certainly mm -hmm. might find a, a find a place for that so yeah see fire king a mile away <laughs> <laughs> awesome very cool okay so this is our furniture and electronics area okay wow the guys that used to be carpenters or whatever they come in they do some repair of oh, simple repair of furniture and okay. things like that because i imagine you know if a, if a dish is broken mm -hmm. eh, that goes in the trash or and we should put that in the trash too but oh, if it's or in upcycling okay sometimes, or enough. sometimes fair we enough. put it in upcycling absolutely so okay fair enough with that but with furniture, I imagine it's a little bit different because even if there's a little something wrong with it, if you guys have pre repair people back here that can work with it, then that's still worth taking a look at. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a look at it. Excellent. Very cool. I've seen some nice pieces back here. Yeah. Love and, that dresser. And then we get lots of electronics in. We've got staff and volunteers who take time to test, test everything. Okay. They basically make sure it turns on, does its basic functions. Sure. We don't leave it on for an hour. Um, right, right. So we can't have a guarantee on the product sure, but sure. We, we do our best to make sure that they're at least basically functioning before we put them out for sale absolutely yeah because i mean they could sit on the shelf for a while too and you can't guarantee that that time is going to be well spent right. as far as that goes especially with aged things mm -hmm. but if somebody gets something home and, and it doesn't work for them they can bring it back with the receipt come, come back and talk to us we'll work awesome. with you very cool that's hometown <laughs> nice to nice to work with small time businesses in, in your hometown mm -hmm. Cool deal. Okay, thus ends the tour, I think, ish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then things get out on the on the main floor, and so now we'll talk with Shannon um, and Golda a little bit about what it's um, what the mission is for Gift and Thrift and what it's like to be a part of the shopping community here. So hang on with us just a moment.